All right, good afternoon, everybody. You join me on a somewhat sunny uh, October Saturday. So I'm out here in the Integra, as you can see. Now, I've had a couple of requests um, to do a video about downshifting, and well, shifting in general, I guess. Now, the way I downshift is a bit different to most people, and that's because I tend to double clutch, which you don't need to do. It's just something that I learned, and I find it harder to do uh, regular heel and toe downshifting. If you're um, subscribed to my YouTube because you like seeing cars nearly crash on track, you might find this video a bit boring. Uh, so feel free to um, click off now, but we're going to be a bit geeky today. If you want to know the exact like scientific reasons of uh, why heel and toe downshifting is good for your car and for your transmission and everything, um, Engineering Explained did a very good video going through the exact um, kind of motions of what your gearbox is doing when you're downshifting and things like that. Um, I'll try and put a I'll try and put a link to that into the description if I remember, sometimes I forget. Yeah, you should definitely check out Engineering Explains channel anyway, he does a lot of cool videos. Really good, one of my favourites. Alright, so we're in the Integra as you can see. I've uh, plugged the foot cam in that I sometimes use on track videos. Uh, I've still got Joe's GoPro as well, uh, so we're going to use that for some in-car footage. You'll not be able to hear me. I might, might try and do some videoing while I'm inside the car, but I doubt you'll be able to hear me talk your way through it. Oh, we're, going, uh, we're going drag racing tomorrow in the Integra. I'll make sure to do a video on that. Never done drag racing before, so that's going to be fun. It's uh, there's a, a track not too far away, about half an hour away. Yeah, if you're not if you're not too interested in what we're going to be talking about today, don't worry, don't watch the video. It's going to be quite boring for most people, I imagine. But tomorrow, drag racing, that should be better, right? All right, so we're in the Integra. Uh, this is a really good car to learn how to do all the, the heel and toe kind of stuff. Uh, one thing worth noting, though, I don't actually heel and toe because uh, my feet are too large. A lot of people will find this, and they're probably thinking, oh, "How do you do a heel and toe?" But what you, what the technique's called, is uh, big toe, little toe. A lot of people call it. Uh, I've heard it called other things, but that's what I usually refer it to. Uh, big toe, little toe. What you're going to be doing is, you're going to be breaking like with the um, left hand side of your right foot, and then you're just going to be uh, tapping across with your right side of your right foot. That makes sense. I'll show you now. Right. So, what do I mean by big toe, little toe? If you just come down here, so if I've got my foot on the brake there and I'm braking, that's how you'd normally brake, right? When I brake into corners, I'm braking like this. My foot's just on the right hand side of the pedal. And that, what that means is I can just tilt my foot round and blip the throttle just so. Just a little blip like that is all you need to um, get the rev match. I can't, I can't get my foot around enough to do a Gansan kind of heel and toe. I just have to do Boom. That's all I've done for years and it works really well. Right, as you can see I've got the foot cam set up. I've also got the GoPro up here as well, which I'll start recording. Uh, let's go for a drive and do some heel and toe. As I said previously, I, I tend to um, double clutch. Uh, I'll walk you through both methods. Double clutching used to be more of a thing before synchro meshes were about in gearboxes. There are still some people who would argue that double clutching is still the, the way to do it, but it's 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 not it's not really needed. Um, heel and toe, just a regular downshift um, rev match is fine. I'll show you the differences real quick, right? Hopefully this isn't too hard to understand. This is a regular downshift, right? We're not we're not even heel and toe now. We're just doing downshift, right? So on a regular downshift, when we're not double clutching, we're just simply engaging the clutch, putting the car into neutral, flipping the throttle, putting the car into gear, and then we're up. So the clutch is fully depressed throughout the uh, manoeuvre. But when we're doing a double clutch, which is what I kind of learned to do back in the day and it's just stuck and I've always done it, um, we're gonna clutch to get the gear out, bring the clutch up, flip the throttle, um, put the clutch back in and then release the clutch. So we're actually depressing the clutch twice. People say they do that. I think it's. I'm not going to pretend that I know the exact mechanics of, of why that works better. Uh, but something to do with the input shaft being up to speed. Whereas with, with the clutch um, depressed, then the input shaft will be going at the somewhat. This I don't know. There's there's, there's there's some science behind it. Engineer explained will definitely be the guy to tell you how that is. I'm not too sure. Uh, but let's let's go for a drive and then hopefully what I've just said there will make more sense. Right. So let's go for a little drive. Foot cam's on, so you can see my feet. And we'll do some, we'll start with just some regular um, rev matching, not even heel and toe. This uh, junction's horrible to get out of, you cannot see shit. 
shit. Right, so I don't know if you're able to hear me very well, but regular rem match, just single punch. Just nice and easy to do, so you're just pressing the clutch once, lifting the throttle, down to ages. So I went from sixth gear to fourth gear there. So obviously, when you're going down more than one gear, which you might do sometimes, you obviously press the throttle a bit more to get the engine up to speed. So remember what we're doing is, we're bringing the engine speeds up to, uh, up to what the wheel speed will be when the gear's engaged.
so I hope that gives you a like quick visual explanation on what I'm doing. Um, it's quite hard to explain it while I'm driving, but the way rev matching works, so we're bringing the engine speed up to speed with the gearbox, well, the, the gear that we're going to be selecting, that's as simple as it is. It's something that once you start practicing, you'll find yourself wanting to do it every day. Now, I know a lot of you won't be driving cars like this every day. I don't drive this car every day. I drive it very rarely. The car I drive every day is the Audi A4, and it's still something you can do in that, even though the Audi doesn't even have a throttle body. It's a diesel. Let's jump in the Audi, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. You can, you can still practice this technique every day, no matter what car you drive. Gave the Audi a clean today, can you tell? Still rocking the ITR badge, of course. Right. So, Audi A4 diesel, rev match. Well, the Audi's uh, done a new milestone, can you see that? 230,000, nearly 231,000 miles. Beast. I think I'm going to use the head cam for this. Do I look jazzy? Hang on. Head cam, can you see alright? I hope so. Unfortunately, the, uh, the cheap GoPro, the SJ cam, won't record the feet too well. Uh, it doesn't like how dark it is down there. I might be able to get away with doing some of this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and look, put the GoPro there. All right. So yeah, heel, you can heel and toe in this car. Well, it's, again, it's not heel and toe. I'm doing, I'm doing the big toe, little toe technique. So I'll see if I can get it in here. Oh, I wonder still. I think um, I've just washed the tyres and put a load of tyre shine on. I think we just felt the <laughs> the brunt of tyre shine then going around there. Yeah, one of the uh, things I like doing in the Audi the most um, is doing the no clutch um, downshifts. So if I take my foot away from the clutch, so I'm in sit gear now. If you just give the throttle a little dab, as you can dab, if you give the throttle a little dab as you're going up, um, you can just slot it straight into the gear. It's not something that I've even tried doing in the Integra because uh, the gearbox is quite a lot of money, so I wouldn't want to wreck it, but it's quite fun to do in the Audi. You can do it all the way up to second, but we'll not. Uh, right, let's try. Heel and toe. It's not quite the same as the inside around the fence, but it's not bad. Right, I'm going to see if we can use heel and toe to maximum effect in the Audi on this roundabout down here. Hopefully, we won't crash. I'm sure we won't crash. No, we won't crash. The Audi's, the Audi's a good car. Try another heel and toe on the Audi again, just down here. Uh, we'll go from fourth to third into second. <laughs> Alright, I'll just pull over down here. Right, that's at the end of our little rev matching video. Perhaps not the most informative one on YouTube, but that was fun making it. Especially in this thing, this it, it's good. It's a good car. Uh, yeah, if, if you want to know the exact science behind why you should downshift um, using rev matching and stuff like that, the channel I've said it already, but the channel I recommend for that is definitely Engineering Explained. He does a really good video on that. In simple terms, you're doing it to bring the engine speed up to the speed of the gear that you're about to engage, which reduces that kind of if you. Uh, no, you know what I mean, right? When, yeah, it reduces that, um, which can upset the um, the weight balance of the car. Most important on track, not that important on road. You don't really need to do this when you're driving about on the road, but 
It's a lot of fun and you'll find yourself doing it every day like I do once you start going. If you've never done any uh, rev matching before, give it a try. Let me know how you're getting on. Uh, drop me a comment. If you want any uh, more advice or anything on how to do it, just, just let me know. I'll do my best to uh, try and help you. Uh, yeah, if you if you have got any more questions about what we've done today, I know I've not been the best uh, tutor at explaining what's going on. Just drop me a comment. I'll do my best to reply. I always try and reply to most of the comments. Hopefully you've seen that. Uh, yeah, that's it for today. So tomorrow we're going drag racing. Can't wait for that. Excited. See ya. couple of corners just down here which the Audi excels at and I don't think there's a faster car around them. Just blank that off for now. We're only doing the speed limits anyway. Let's have a little accelerate. Oh that sun's bright. The steering doesn't feel that connected today. But yeah. Those corners are a lot of fun in this car. I don't know why, why is it so much fun to drive? It shouldn't be this much fun. Do you know why? <laughs>